What up, guys? Perfection here. Um, right now I'm doing a flash challenge that came up. Uh, basically, they're it's giving out a whole lot of gear and stuff. That you know, mystery prize crates. You're getting uh, five of these things, and you're getting a bunch of mods, legendary wolf spite, a lot of good stuff. So I'm gonna kind of be doing that while we're doing this video. But um, you know, what we're gonna talk about today is uh, trapping. So rally trapping, but baiting, you know, baiting hits. Um, there's a lot of ways to do this. Way number one is don't use a known name that you use for trapping. If people know you as a trap, they're not going to hit you. Um, so kill events, things like that. You know, try to uh, try to bait in people by utilizing a different name because um, maybe you faced that kingdom before, that state, and also try to. <laughs> this is gonna sound funny, but choose a profile image that's female. And I don't know why, but this just draws in more hits. Um, and use a commander, you know, profile or avatar that's female. It just seems to draw in more hits. Um, if you're rally trapping though, and you have a commander preset open, you have to have a commander preset open pretty much to do this. But um, what you do is you equip that preset which is gonna have all of your hey look I might be getting hit right now but it's gonna have uh, they're getting tempted it's gonna have all of your your hero skills preset to defense and all that good stuff so what you do is you equip your preset but then change all your gear to like some research or um, rebel gear or uh, training gear but put the mods in it for you know, typically most people are going to have these defense and health mods. You're going to have tons of them. So you see, I've got my research speed mod in there, but I've also got a defense and health mod in all of my gear. And uh, essentially, what this does, I'll kind of give you an example here. I'm going to go ahead and put in the rest of these points. But essentially, what this will do for you is keep in mind you're going to have your preset. Actually, my points are already set. You're going to have your preset with all your skills already. So you don't have to do that. You just equip the research or whatever gear you're going to bait in and then the reason we we utilize because see our skills are all set for defense and we add those mods in there so if you look at your boosts typically a rally trap is going to have a pretty high troop count so you're set there but if you go look at your boosts like I'm sitting at 700 percent defense and 563 percent health now if someone tries to solo me right now with my troop count they're they're going to lose they're not going to burn me solo so I'll cap their commander and then typically what that means is, is they're gonna go whining to their alliance and then they're gonna come and try to rally me so that you know that's gonna bait in more hits but essentially you're just sitting there if they solo you then leave your research or baiting gear on you're gonna cap their commander if you're if you have a decent troop count I mean and when I say a decent troop count I mean somewhere in the neighborhood of where I'm at um, actually I could probably go a little higher but um you're going to do that. And then when someone finally does rally you because their your gear is just so tempting, they just they got to rally it. What you do is is um, don't port, you appear offline. You do not click help, you do not click alliance gifts, you do not do anything. You are literally dead to the game. You're just sitting there watching. It gets boring sometimes, but that's what you're going to do. And then when you get rallied, you're typically going to have a spotter. And what you do is you uh, highlight your commander preset and you click it but you don't click this yet you're just sitting right here at this screen and when they finally do send the the rally you have either your someone in your chat say hey rally or you have um, or maybe use a code just like the number one if they send the rally everybody puts a number one then all of a sudden you see a spam of ones you know to click this or you watch right here for a pop-up um, if you watch for your screen to flash red a lot of people do that and then they equip their their preset and then more or less they gave away that they're online and baiting but um and because when you're getting scout spammed you're gonna have that pop-up so you're, you're gonna get a pop-up saying or it's gonna be it's gonna flash red but what you're looking for is a little pop-up box to come up on the screen that's gonna say it uh, war March incoming okay so if it just says um, uh, what do you call it 
a, a normal attack appears different. You're looking for a war march, which means that they're sending a rally at you. And uh, essentially, that's when you pop your preset and cap their hero, because or I'm mean, sorry, their commander. But a lot of times, you know, your 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 alliance is going to have you reinforced and everything. Um, now, unfortunately, most of the time you're not going to have time to pop that preset and then come here and boost. But you don't you want your anti scout up because you don't want them, you know, hitting or basically seeing what you have. Now, one good note is is you can pop a troop health boost. And it does not take down anti scout, so you can have up a troop health boost without having, without taking down your anti scout. So always have that up when you're baiting, or when it looks like people are getting frogging ready to hit you. But um, other than that, that's pretty much the the best baiting tactics. Now again, female here, female for your avatar, or your your chat icon, also. Um, pick a name that's sissified, if you will. Either that or just plum arrogant. Um, I don't know. Like for example, there's a guy in our in our state called. Uh, matter of fact, he's probably he's always in state chat talking crap. Let's see. Oh, there he is, right there. Snatch dagger. He has me blocked because well, he he's just a shit shit bag. He sucks. But anyway, he he's one of the people that if he sees fire, he feels like he won the fight. Even though, you know, I've he's hit my account a few times and he complains about it. Um, unfortunately, I haven't capped his commander yet, but I would if he rally if he was to rally me now. But uh, anyway, you know, he kills. He refuses to rally me more than once, and uh, that's because I lost twenty million power when he rallied me, and he lost a hundred and ten million power. So he, he won't rally me anymore. But um, anyway, long story short is, you know, pick a name to just taunt the hell out of him because he's constantly nagging in state chat. So I put, you know, I just changed my name to the exact same thing he has except mine's Snatch Nagger. He's always nagging, whining in state chat. Um, you know, name yourself Unburnable or something like that. Just just pick a, a, an arrogant name or just something really just that sounds kind of, girly or I hate to use the word girly but because there's a lot of badass females in this game that I know but um, sissy if you will and uh, go with a name like that and people will hit you it's it's hilarious how much difference that makes now during a kill event change your name so once you start getting rallied once they stop you know go change names and then go port somewhere else sit around somewhere else and a good place to sit uh, during a kill event especially when you're baiting is right along the forest line here. Just pick the spot next to somebody's hive and sit there and they'll think you're offline. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude it for this video. This is basically the intro of how to bait as a rally trap. But uh, again, like, subscribe, got some more coming. I'll let you guys later, peace.